when we do a play in the community or when I dance in the community. So what am I saying to my audience? I'm saying that there are possibilities of a better world and let's search for that better world. Let's look towards that better world. Let us try and create that better world. Um, so yes, art and politics for me has to be totally, it's one, it's together, cannot be separated. further studies and I was still um, studying but I had started teaching also uh, so when I would go to teach um, in this college then everyone would say well we can't make you out from one of the students so I, from that time I started wearing a sign um, I thought it will make me look older and uh, since then so since the age of almost 18 I have been only wearing saris all my aunts, my khalas, my mother's sisters, they always only wore saris. My mother has only worn a sari all her life till, till the time she passed away. She never wore anything else. It was um, later. I, I would say that in the late 1970s, when, when actually when General Zia ul Haq came into power, the things changed. Before that, if you see photographs or films, um, all the heroines uh, of Pakistani cinema were wearing saris. Um, in advertisements, in you know, everywhere, women were wearing saris. It was like part of the whole social, cultural setup. Ziyanak, when he wanted to Islamize us and Arabize us, came out with these statements that sari is not a Muslim dress and Muslim women must not wear it. So he started this differentiation between what is a Muslim women's dress and what is not. I said, first and foremost, I will bring back the Islamic values. I will introduce I will venture for the Islamization of laws and bring in Islamic values. But uh, Ziaul Haq decided to move away and move Pakistan away from what he considered Hindu culture, which was like the pluralistic culture of the subcontinent. And he wanted to just introduce the so-called Islamic dress. And and he said that women may not. So actually in the, in the military, um, he said to his generals and his uh, officers that I don't want to see your wives in saris. And of course, sleeveless blouses, no one should wear sleeveless blouses. And there was such a resistance against that. that I mean, a lot of my family members um, were in the army and um, and their wives, like my aunts, they told their husbands that we are not going to go to your official functions if we have to dress in another way. And they just refused to change. So, um, but of course, change did take place. Like the government controlled media, the television, uh, Sari went out, Bindia went out. And um, in fact, the head started being covered because that's what they all have wanted impose a chadar onto us and of course even there there was resistance there were anchors who said we will not cover our heads and they left their jobs because of um, because of that 
So um, the sari has become actually a symbol of resistance to uh, uh, to the imposition of Islamist uh, ideas or Islamist uh, values or Islamist culture in Pakistan. And um, I, as far as I'm concerned, I feel that this is the dress that uh, which belongs to me. This is a dress which I feel I look best in. I find it one of the most beautiful forms of dress for women. And, um, and I see no reason why I will uh, stop wearing it or give it up. Because I um, am a political person, because I'm a socially conscious person, because I have an ideology, a worldview, because I consider myself a Marxist, because I believe in uh, justice and equality for all. So I feel that there has to be a link between my work, my art and my politics. I see that, I feel that it has to be integrated, otherwise it is meaningless. My politics, what I mean and what we mean is, is everything, is the way, the way men and women live with each other, the kind of exchange people have, the, the, the kind of relationships people have, the kind of values we hold. Um, it means also how when a woman walks on the road, how the men look at her. What is the status of woman in a society? Because I'm conscious of all these things, that when I produce a work of art, or when I perform, or when I sing, or when I dance, uh, my sensibilities are coloured by all these lens. Most of the girls who um, come to learn dance, you know, we have this whole um, concept about girls' bodies, um, that they, they, they should not be seen. Um, girls should not stand in such a way that their breasts are um, noticeable. Um, and I think this the, the whole feminist movement builds on this um, uh, fact that women do not have confidence in their bodies. I get my girls to stand straight, strengthen their spine, get uh, push their shoulders back, not be hunched, be confident, have uh, 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 confidence in their bodies, feel that there is nothing to be ashamed of in, their, in our bodies. So I think the politics of feminism are very intertwined with, uh, with dance. Because it is through dance that you make your body strong. It is through dance that you make your emotional being strong. The way the young people react when we go and perform in low-income areas, um, and we um, the, the the kind of energy that we get from these young people, the feeling of their desire to change their their environment, to change their conditions, to change everything around them, and to find make a better life for them, especially girls. I mean, I feel that in Pakistan, girls, women. They, they, you, one can see, one can sense that they have just about had enough and they are ready for that change. They are ready to, um, to kind of break all these uh, discriminations, these taboos that they have been forced to live under. They are ready for a new set of values, a new way of life where they can exist in, with equality and understand their freedoms and feel their freedoms and express their freedoms and I think it is women in this country as far as as far as, far as Pakistan is concerned I feel it is women in, of Pakistan who have always resisted uh, all uh, various forms of oppression.
उन हसीनाओं के नाम जिनकी आंखों के गुल चिलमनों और दरीचों की बेलों पे बेकार खिलखिल के मुरझा गए हैं